Hi guys, welcome to another video. For today, I'm going to help you and show you how you can easily update your motherboard BIOS, more precisely the ASUS Tough Gaming motherboard series. And basically, let's get to it. First of all, you want to go and search for your motherboard uh, model. In my case, I have the ASUS uh, Tough Gaming b 650 me so let's go and search this you want to go and click after seeing your motherboard model on Azure uh, official uh, website click here on where it says BIOS and firmware so that now that we are here you already uh, it already shows you where is the update the latest update I'm going to show you mine is uh, 3208 uh, update I did this up the update uh, still in February uh, we're in March and we have already a new update and uh, for the last uh, past few days, I've been having issues with the computer restarting a lot out of nowhere, and I think it's because of this. There's no another an exp explanation to it because I have all the the other drivers updated, inclusively the um, chipset um, drivers, AMD chipset drivers. And basically, as you can see here. I'm going to click on the latest update and click on download. Uh, just a, a few pointers. As you can see here, it says before running the USB BIOS flashback tool, please rename the BIOS file uh, using the BIOS renamer. So as I'm going to show you, I'm going to downloads. This is the BIOS update. And as you can see here, it, it has this name. So, so as you can see here, we have to re rename this. And before renaming, we have to extract all of this I'm gonna play BIOS renamer you wanna go and run as administrator and it says here that the file has already been changed to this A5464 point cap And there we go, it all is already changed. So, after this is done, you want to go and grab a USB flash drive. This is this has uh, 2 gigabytes of space. And you need to format this to uh, FAT32. Otherwise it won't work and you won't be able to update your BIOS. So, let's connect this. Basically, you just have to do this and format to FAT32. Mine is already formatted, so we wanna wanna go and paste uh, the A5464 um, cap file to this. So just paste it. And there we go. And after this, what you would want to do is restart your computer and go into the BIOS. Okay, now that we're, we're on, 
in the BIOS. You want to go to advanced. I'm sorry. I... Let's go to easy mode again. So this is the the, the page, the initial initial page that you that you will be faced with. You want to go to advanced mode. You want to go to tool. You want to go to Azure Easy Flash 3 Utility. As you can see here, uh, this is the storage devices that are detected by the motherboard. And the one that has the cap file, as you can see here, is the 1964 megabytes. It has the cap file here. And for the update, you want to go and click enter. It has this important notice. You want to go and say yes. Read this file, yes. And you have to wait a little while. Okay. It detected the, the update. There we go. So click again, yes. Now your uh, BIOS is being updated. Your PC will restart a few times. And I'll get, I'll get back to you once it's done. So it's already ending the update. This will be normal, don't <laughs> need to worry or panic. It is a no normal procedure from the motherboard. It restarts your system. So there we go. It took a, li a little longer than I expected, but we're ready to go to Windows 11. Let's see. And there we go. So I'm gonna wait like half an hour if uh, I see if I have uh, still restart uh, issues with the computer and I'll I'll get to, to you guys in a second. So more than one hour has passed and I haven't had any restart issues so I'm just gonna assume it's all good it's everything all right and i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you again and i'll see you next time